First of all, excuse this squeaky chair. I haven't fixed the bloody thing yet. Or through these videos, you hear the squeak. You know, it's coming from the chair. Um, anyway, action. You know, when I make films, uh, come up with ideas, I've always got a plan B. I always have a plan B. Um, whether I make the film, where I don't make the film, there's always a plan B, C, D, F, G. And I think that's important. I don't put all my eggs into one basket. You know, so when I've made a film, I'm always making a film because they're so small budgets. So I'm making films thinking a couple of things. Okay, if I can't take this any further, if it's got a series and it's got series potential, it's got sequel potential, then I'm thinking if I can't take it any further than that, then um, it could be a novel. You know, because I like writing as well, and I started writing some novels, and I get, I like the idea of your imagination can fly in a novel. There's always that aspect if the film never gets made, or if the film gets made and I can't continue, and the sequels, whatever, the novels are there. You know, that's one part. The next part is if it's a strong enough concept, then I could package the movie and take it and try and get a budget version made. You know, if you take Psycho Sex Dolls at the moment, which I'm finishing, then I want to continue it with small as a franchise and make more films, you know, smaller films and just build more thing with it and do that. That's what I really want to do. But if I can't continue to get any more sequels made, you know, then, you know, the plan B is it can be turned into novels or I can package the first movie, you know, I've got a trailer, I've got the movie shot, I've got posters, I've got AI posters that look like a slicker budget version, which would be more of a version that's more of a kind of sexy action thriller, you know, um, more action, more horror, more kind of, um, if there was a budget or set in a studio, still set in a studio, less kind of humour, um, it would be more that and you know and try and get it made for a couple of million or something like that so i could package that and take that but i don't want to i haven't made it to do that i've made it to try and do it myself because if you do it yourself and you make your own first film and you make some sequels and it starts to do well people are going to come towards you anyway you know they do i get people come towards me I get distributors come towards me but they don't get any fucking money they want, they want them from nothing you know so uh then I'll go and try and get financed. So for me, my point I'm trying to make is that always, um, I think, you know, for me, the kind of concepts, I way back from doing the horror movie screen, which was a kind of solid concept. Um, again, if I had a budget, I could turn it a novel, to Crime Lord, who's a crime rating criminal. If I had a budget, you know, it's a different slant on the criminal world, and the same way up to Psycho Sex Dolls. I've always got that aspect. They could be turned into novels. They can be turned into. They could be made into you know bigger films with budget, just package things, you know. So if I get stuck, and I'm really stuck, and I'm not moving with another film, then that's an option that I've got. But in this time of technology that we're in, I would really want to build more thing. That's my goal. My goal is to get more in studio, and um, so I think it's important not to put all your eggs into one basket. So that some Disney works a fucking dead end road for you. You know, and you put a lot of time and a lot of work in it, something. I did that for day one, where I've always kind of packaged things. I put the, the time into things, where if you've got an idea for a movie and you want to go to the industry and you want to get industry money, then you've got to put the time in there. You know, it's like, you know, if I want to take these films to the industry and take Cycle Sex Dolls to the industry, which I don't at this time, you know, it shows a commitment you've actually made the, the micro-budget version, that you've got the posters, you've got a vision for it, everything else. Um, and I did that for day one from my first movie, very first movie, you know, a few hundred thousand budget, I, I did, I went to America and I made it a promo trailer for the movie, packaged it, got the posters, got everything else, and that's how I got it done. you got to put some effort into something. But knowing that if it all falls apart, right, what's my plan B? What can I do now? What way can I move? Have I got a thousand quid movie in me? Or can I try and package this to get a two million budget version or whatever? You know, so I uh, also have a plan B, C, D, F, G. Um, so you can keep moving, so you're not stagnating. So oh, I put all my time and I put all my money in it. I don't know what you're doing now. You know, you got to keep rolling. You got to keep moving. It's the same with last year. I couldn't get the budget for um, Mad World, the series that I was doing. It's not that I couldn't get the budget. I was trying doing Kickstarter, so I done a pre-launch Kickstarter page. There wasn't enough people, um, which I probably knew wasn't going to happen. You know, I've not got a big, huge uh, social presence. Um, but I knew I was going to need a lot more money for it because it's eight films, eight half-hour films. So I'm not going to reach that. So that's why I took one of the films, half-hour films, Psycho Sex Dolls, and turned into a feature. So there's always a plan B. But I shot two of them. I shot two of them on my own budget just to start it last year. I haven't released them yet. So, you know, you don't put all your eggs into one basket. For me, I don't anyway. You know, it's like um, that's the way I kind of go. And again, 
Mad World's got the potential for a novel. Mad World's got the potential for a series, whatever. And I do sometimes get, you know, I don't don't get me wrong. I'm not fielding fucking offers. I don't want to be making films with absolutely no money. I'm not fielding offers, but I do get quite a few emails over a year for companies and distributors wanting to get involved in some way. But I'm not working for somebody for fucking five grand or something like that, you know. And I have some audiobook stuff that people have came towards me, like quite big companies. Um, but I'm on a goal to kind of do my own thing um, and, and really ranking it up over the next 18 months. Anyway, plan B's, plan C's, plan D's, plan E, F, G. Plan Z is uh, fuck all this for a game. And, you know, work as a fucking lollipop man or something. <laughs> Do something simple. Do a normal job. That's a plan Z, you know. Thanks for watching. <laughs>